Hello, here we are looking at two virtual microscopy slides from the same case of invasive breast carcinoma. And on the left, we can see the primary tumor in the breast. We can see here that there is some benign breast parenchyma here, and this is the invasive tumor. And on the right, we can see axillary lymph nodes. There are two axillary lymph nodes here that are involved by metastatic breast carcinoma. Let's compare the primary and the metastatic tumors. In the primary tumor, we can see that the tumor is composed predominantly of solid, rounded to irregular nests of malignant cells with a moderate degree of nuclear pleomorphism infiltrating into the stroma. There is focal tubule formation with a small lumen here. And comparing this with the nodal mets, in this particular node, we can still see a small rim of benign lymph node parenchyma. We can see the lymph node capsule and the dense lymphoid parenchyma. And here we have a lymphoid follicle with a germinal center. And this area is the tumor. And let's compare this with the primary tumor. And we can see that it has a very similar morphology with these irregular infiltrative nests of malignant cells, most of which are solid and with very focal lumen formation, as you can see here. In this particular lymph node, there is another feature that is demonstrated and we can see that the tumor has actually extended beyond the capsule of the lymph node into the extranodal adipose tissue and this is known as extranodal extension and the presence of extranodal extension is a poorer prognostic factor in many tumors. We can also see in the blood vessels around the lymph node that there are tumor emboli in the lymphovascular channels and again here in the other lymph node we can observe that there are tumor emboli in the lymphovascular channels. And this is not surprising because the tumor gets into the lymph node through lymphatic channels. Invasive carcinoma of no special type is also known as invasive ductal carcinoma. There is a separate gross pathology video describing the virtual pathology pot or virtual pathology specimen. And this can be found in our free online pathology resource path web. You can scan here to learn more, and the link for registration is in the video description. This is the commonest type of breast carcinoma, and it usually will present as a hard and painless lump. This is for invasive carcinoma, and DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ, usually does not present as a palpable lump. Rather, it presents as abnormal mammographic changes, such as calcifications. The skin overlying the mass may show some changes such as dimpling, and this is in particular if the tumor cells have infiltrated into the dermal lymphatics. There may also be nipple retraction, and in very locally advanced cases, there may be skin ulceration. And of course, there would also be abnormal mammographic findings of, for example, a speculated mass. This is one of the specimens taken from our Virtual Pathology Museum in PathWeb, and you can see a very, very large tumor mass that is extending into the subareolar dermis. Grossly, we see a firm to hard whitish tan mass. It can be relatively well circumscribed or quite irregular, as you see here. And again, in locally advanced cases, it may extend to the overlying skin or underlying pectoralis major skeletal muscle. Here is an example showing the invasive breast tumor in this instance, the skin is not involved. And we also see the pectoralis major muscle. And in this instance, there is no obvious gross extension into the pec major muscle. And we also have here axillary lymph nodes, which appear fleshy and enlarged. And these are involved by metastatic carcinoma. Here is the breast chapter in PathWeb in our Virtual Pathology Museum. And I'm going to select a case with carcinoma with lymph node metastases. And this is the same gross pathology virtual specimen that we saw earlier with the skin and the tumor, and pectoralis major muscle, and the nodal metastases. And you can simply 
view the annotations or examine the pot with greater detail. And if you scroll down, you will also be able to see gross and microscopic annotated pictures and also examples of talking pots demonstrating the virtual pathology specimen. If you are interested in seeing how pathologists handle breast tumor cases, you can go to Pathology in Action and explore this breast pathology page where we can walk you through a case of how we handle the gross specimen of a resected breast carcinoma case examine it microscopically and also pick up important prognostic information such as grading of breast carcinoma. In summary, this is an example of a case of invasive carcinoma of no special type or invasive ductal carcinoma of the breast with axillary lymph node mets and we can see that the primary carcinoma looks very similar to the metastatic deposits in the axillary lymph nodes. Also, we can see that in this particular node, there is an area of extra nodal spread, which is an adverse prognostic factor. Thank you.